Hello and welcome back. So this is the start of a completely new playlist and one that I'm very excited about, which is called Wild and Free Adventures. Why am I excited about this playlist? Because it's gonna give you a perspective of not just photography and travel, but also my life and what I enjoy, which is getting outside, being with nature and exploring. I absolutely love to explore. It's in my heart. It's something I've always loved ever since a kid. And yeah, so this is <laughs> just to give you a bit of perspective on that really. To kick off this playlist, I've got um, some footage and photos from my trip up Scarfell Pike in the Lake District. This happened a couple of weeks ago and I did film it en route. As life goes, I kind of, I made a bit of an arse of it. So yes, I thought it'd be nice to merge the two post and during uh, the hike up Scarfell Pike. So we began our route at Seathway Car Park, which is located on a farm. And then you can head up past the farm into a valley between Great Gable and another mountain, which I cannot pronounce. And you carry on up from there. You'll cross a few little bridges and meet a lovely tarn where then you then detour to go around Great End. Once you've looped around Great End, you'll come into the saddle point between Scarfell Pike and Great End. There you have a few humps to climb before you reach the end at Scarfell Pike. So altogether, you're looking at about an 11 mile hike there and back, and it's beautiful. So the whole purpose of this playlist um, is just to inspire anyone. My theme of each, um, video is just to add a little bit of something, a little bit of heart uh, for each place I travel to. I like to be positive and help people and just put out positive messages out there. So I thought I'm going to bring that into my videos and I'm going to add a bit of heart to each of my videos. So um, yeah, it's important to me. But anyway, enough talking. Let's kick this off and yeah, here you go. I know it's nothing new. So good to see you. Okay, so we're making our way up. It's a stunning day, like it is so good. So nice to be out. I'm about to take layers off because I'm boiling and I feel like a donkey right now because I've got such a big bag and so much stuff. I think I need my own Sherpa. Any volunteers, let me know. I need a Sherpa, please. <laughs> I don't really pay very well, but um, I can laugh. <laughs> yeah. So we're just heading up still at the minute. We're stopped by this lovely little lock or lake. I don't know what to call it down in England anymore. <laughs> um, it's very bright, but it's a bit chilly, so I've got my funky hat on. <laughs> but we will carry on up. Boop, that's where we're going. Um, and I cannot wait to be up there. I want to get my telephoto lens out and this is just a perfect and beautiful day. It's incredible. <laughs> so the equipment I decided to take up with me was everything. <laughs> I decided to take my telephoto lens and my wide angle and no tripod, just my mini one that was attached to this camera. So I decided to go with two lenses, which I'll be honest, I did regret a little bit later on. I wish I'd taken my 56 millimeter, but I'm happy I took my telephoto and you shall see later on why, but yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> and yeah, so that was the equipment we decided to take. And sunscreen, don't forget sunscreen. Sunscreen's very important. So prior to this adventure, any of my adventures, I do not look research of any photography before I go anywhere because I really like my mind to just take over organically when I get somewhere and have my own stamp on a place. So for that reason, I do not look at anyone else's pictures and I highly recommend this. Just go somewhere and let your mind take over and be surprised by the moment and what the weather, the conditions and the scenery provides for you. It's still absolutely amazing. I'm still smiling. <laughs> Still loving every moment of this, it's beautiful. Okay.
Okay, we've just stopped for a bite to eat and it's very bright all of a sudden. Um, I was getting a bit hangry and so was Eric, weren't you? We're going strong, we're doing well and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying ourselves. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, we are still making our way up. It's beautiful, it's incredible and I'm loving it. So yeah, I just wanted to make the point that the reason why I wanted to do all this wasn't to shout about where I've been. I feel like a lot of things nowadays are people just going, look where I am, look what you're not doing. Ah, uh, and especially on social media, people get really knocked by that. And yeah, I just want to say, don't ever compare your life or what you are and aren't doing to anyone else. You don't need to do that. Everyone's on their own journey and whatever you're doing at your moment in time is amazing. Yeah, I just want to show the real side of things, um, but don't ever compare yourself and don't let social media blind you to what real life is like as well. We are at our last final push to the top. Um, the hike's actually been all right. It's not been too crazy and we've got a little bit to go, but it's been, it's been beautiful. I'm so glad we came out. <laughs> Clouds, 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 clouds. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the top. Uh, we sat up there for a bit. Um, it's quite busy though, so I didn't do the recording up there. But I tell you what, it's so nice to see so many people out just enjoying themselves. I really want to do just a big, big shout out to this little guy here, Eric, because this dude has been so happy and cheering people up on the way up to this hike. And he's not only done Scarf Pike today with these little legs, he's done Snowden in the past, he's done the Cairngorm Mountain, he's done um, the Kerrang, he's done Helvellyn. Just the best little dog in the world. And he's so full of enthusiasm and he's just been the best companionship today. He's like motivating me the whole way up, haven't you? Give us a high five. Yeah, you've done so well. So that moment we made it to the top, Eric uh, ran up to the this little kind of trig point at the top you can go on and Eric ran up there and stood up there like a proud little guy. <laughs> I've got a very positive mindset and I like to go out with that mindset. Like it takes a lot for me to not like something. I could walk in the rain for hours and still love it <laughs> because I've wanted things so badly in my life. So this positivity comes from a genuine place. Like to me, everything is positive. So yeah, for me, I appreciate everything. <laughs> and I love that my dog appreciates everything as well. And it makes adventures with him super, super special. And I will stop now before I get emotional. <laughs> We should be heading back down soon and then I need to drive to Wales so I need to get a move on really <laughs> but I highly recommend it if you love landscape photography the Lake District in general is just like incredible it's got like gnarly features it's rocky it's like it really sings to those moody dramatic vibes if you like a dramatic landscape then the Lake District is incredible for that it's like jaggedy it's textured I love it all so yeah I definitely recommend it get yourself here it's worth it I was so happy that I decided to take my telephoto lens and I had people laughing at me saying why have I carried such a big lens up a mountain because if I hadn't I would have missed pictures like this and I'm so glad I didn't. So here they are and you'll see why it is worth grinning and bearing carrying a telephoto lens up a mountain. <laughs>
so <laughs> we are back. Eric is tired in the back there. I've made myself a cup of coffee. I'm so glad I brought my stove with me because my only complaint from today is that I've had a headache all day because I've not had my one cup of coffee that I have a day. Clearly I'm addicted to it. <laughs> Apart from that, this day has been magical. I'm so glad I just went for it. And this is just the message I want to put out there to anyone. If you're a bit nervous about doing things on your own, uh, if you're not used to doing things on your own, just please just give it a go. Start small and work your way up. Once you get out there and you've got that fulfillment of doing things on your own, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And it's, uh, you feel like a little explorer. That's what I felt like anyway. Um, <laughs> I highly recommend it. It's a great walk. I think I've been out for like seven hours. I don't know. I don't, to be honest with you, I've not even looked at the time. It's nice though. It's nice that you just get lost in what you're doing. So on that note, I will end it there. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it inspires you to get out and do some landscape photography or just get out and do a walk with your dog, with your friends or on your own and just do all those lovely things and just enjoy life. And it doesn't have to be up a mountain, it really doesn't. It could be absolutely anywhere. You can go to your local park, you can go down your road, just get out and just take a moment for yourself outside in the sunshine with nature and just love every moment and yeah, just do it. I have some more stuff on the way which will be a bit better organized than how this has been. <laughs> this is just the start, this is just the beginning and there is more on the way, so don't you worry. <laughs> on that note, have a fantastic day. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your day, make the most of it and have fun. Um, get outside, love the world, love life, live in the moment, and I shall see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.